We're doing Papa Watch. I couldn't find a better picture of this. I know we used to have a big, big, big picture. This was from when Papa previewed some of the blockchain code. Couldn't find the big picture. If anybody has this, tweet it to me, please. So I can put it in my uh, collection of safe moon pictures for when I eventually get around to writing the book. <laughs> what we have here is a uh, solidity file and in it this is the jfk speech about we choose to go to the moon not because it's easy but because we're badass basically i think we've talked about this already but do you know the date that jfk gave that speech i'll spoil it september 12th 9 12 and we've seen that 12 9 date 9 12 date 120921 seen that come up in many of these other images so that since papa has put that in his code even really really starting to drive home that we have something big coming on september the 12th which is now a month and a half away so again are we going to be seeing the wallet are we going to be seeing the exchange hopefully it's the exchange i was i was initially saying the wallet i had that video a couple days ago where he said what's coming the calendar on the front there i predicted the wallet at the end of that but now that that was before the bibipom announcement reveal whatever you want to call it. Now that we've heard from Bibipom, I'm saying this is, September 12th is going to be the exchange because uh, I think all this, all these clues, all this stuff, too big for the wallet, too big for the wallet, putting the date on the, and I don't think they would have had a date for the wallet all the way that far back. You know what I mean? It's a little too, a little too in flux with Apple and all that weird stuff. I think Bibipom, they could have had a date ready to go back when they, Remember, it was on the Safe Moon Survival Kit was the first time we saw that date. I don't think back then they could have had a date ready for the wallet. But the Bibby Palm Exchange, I bet they could have had a date ready to go. I bet they could have. Changing it. Bibby Palm Exchange, 912. Mark it. <laughs> Safe Moon Exchange, sorry. Bibby Palm Safe Moon Hybrid Exchange. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. I cannot wait. It's going to be so much fun. Papa also did a big liquidity move. Discord was absolutely out of control. I was trying to follow. What I want to find out, maybe someone here can help, is the contract still sending liquidity to PancakeSwap version 1? So we know the contract, the SafeMoon contract, takes 10% out of each cut. 10% cut out of each transaction. And a portion of that is sent to the liquidity pool. But what I had heard... Recently, when I tweeted about this, someone replied and said, Hey, guy, the contract is sending that the cut that it sends to the liquidity pool. It actually sends to the liquidity pool on PCS version one. And that's why Papa has to keep moving it to V2. And I said, oh, huh. And my camera froze. So hold on. <laughs> Where does the contract send its liquidity? V1 or V2? And does it matter? I mean, I like that it, if it sends it to V1 and Papa has to keep moving it to V2, I get those reflections every time he moves it, which is fine by me. And uh, hey, whatever, we get double reflections then, I guess. I'm gonna, I wonder if anyone's done the math on that. Um, <clears throat> so if all of the liquidity has to then be moved, 10% of, that means all the liquidity is getting a 10% chunk chunked, right? That's odd. That's weird. Moving the liquidity from v1 pool v1's pool to v2 like when folks are buying you'd think that the folks over at pancake swap could just do nothing because that's how blockchains work isn't it great <laughs> sorry i had to think about that for a moment my brain's still a little scrambled from re-coordinating uh this camera situation but hey the glory of the blockchain means it is what it is <laughs> if it's coded to go to v1 then it's going to v1 <laughs> And this camera's a lot sharper now that I switched it off the uh, the NVIDIA. But by the way, make sure you do check your reflections. He said there was a big move that got done. Um, Discord was a train wreck. I tried to go through, catch his messages there. It was just a bunch of GIFs of things exploding. Um, pretty fun, though. Pretty fun. Would recommend uh, not going to look for it. Just check your reflections. That's all that really matters. Uh, but the secret... As to what was coming later, um, someone asked Papa, hey, for us that love hints and riddles, can you have, can we have some of this lovely Sunday? And Papa's like, hell yeah. How about some bridges? Yo, bridges. What? Awesome. Excellent. This is a good one for the fudders because I had heard so much FUD since the first bridge came out to the ETH chain about what is this bridge doing? And then someone said, oh, EOS and Wax come. And he replies, gasps in Spanish gif, which I absolutely love. 
Uh, <laughs> anytime this gift gets used, hilarious. I actually have referenced this in real life less than a month ago. Um, great. Thanks, Papa. Um, so well, let me zoom this in for you real quick here. For those of us that love hints and riddles, can we have some this lovely Sunday? Maybe Papa. Two bridges. And I don't know if he just likes to post it twice or if that means there's actually two coming. But uh, the follow up comment was, oh, Eos and Wax. And he maybe he confirmed or who knows. But the hint that Papa gave was at least something about bridges, presumably in the works. And that is awesome because a lot of the fudders and I had a conversation on Reddit that actually turned out to not be a fudder, but just an actual concerned a safe moon citizen and when we, we were done speaking he, he thanked me thanked me for being like rational and kind of like pointing him in a reasonable direction he's like what's the deal with these bridges like we have a bridge to ethereum who's doing anything over there the gas fees are ridiculous and why would anyone take their safe moon across that bridge and do anything over there when we have the bsc chain like what's up do you really think the volume didn't go anywhere the price has gone down this bridge has been useless so it's like, a guy listen but the point is not that we have one bridge. That's not what we're doing here. We're trying to make this ecosystem where Safe Moon is completely cross-chain, right? So especially once the Safe Moon blockchain gets built, Safe Moon's pretty much going to be the only universal, would you say, at that point, crypto, where you can take it, buy it wherever you are, on whatever blockchain you are, you'll be able to buy your Safe Moon. And then just do whatever you want with it. You can buy it on the Safe Moon blockchain, bridge it to EOS, bridge it to BSC, bridge it to maybe Doge chain, probably. I don't know, whatever. But the point's not like any single one of them is going to be a mountain mover or a needle mover or an earth shaker. The point is that eventually we're going to have this ridiculous ecosystem that no one's ever seen before. And you're gonna before you know it, you're gonna be like, oh my god, what is Safe Moon done over here? What did they build when I wasn't really paying attention? So pay attention, people, right? If you're not paying attention, you're not gonna you Sorry, I'm I'm losing myself and myself. If you're not paying attention, it's gonna catch you off guard. <clears throat> so I know we're all paying attention, but it seems like these people who are out there saying that nothing's happening what nothing is happening how could you say that nothing is happening when we're building literal bridges have a wallet coming out in a week an exchange apparently done um silly business silly silly business but uh yeah two more bridges on the way maybe eos and wax do you guys do anything on any other chains just curious i have some polygon uh matic farms that i use pretty neat super cheap over there you guys thought bsc was cheap bsc is outrageously expensive anymore for me polygon matic is like fractions of a penny per transaction and this dollar fifty three dollars a transaction on bsc i want to cut my toe off every time i see it so this was awesome unfortunately sold already but uh, a little papa papa nft check that out we always have our little papa papa art moment here was having some hard time coming up with some last week like i said waiting for if anybody has some pop art to send my way tweet it discord it whatever you guys could do but look at this thing with the, the it's trippy it's like coins almost making up his oh yeah i like it i liked it a lot but it was sold um it was only 30 bucks too congratulations to oxbe87 ending e778 nice nice score very awesome <laughs> very cool papa nft I saw this come whizzing by on Discord today in the craziness that was going on over there when I was taking a look. Papa's first blockchain. Yay, Papa. <laughs> it's just craziness. People are crazy out there. 